G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here coming to you from a sunny Melbourne in the middle of summer. Yeah, it's uh, overcast and quite miserable and cold, but let's get into it. I recently made a video on composite photography and how you put several images, you stack them together in a single image. So I'd encourage you to have a look at that if that's what you're after. Now I realized that there was a problem with the object selection tool as I went through this. And so I thought I'd do a dedicated video on looking at the object selection tool and giving you a couple of hints about how you can correct some of the limitations that it shows before the software that um, Photoshop and Adobe create can actually solve that. So in this gap between now and then, this is how you solve it. So let's go over to the screen. And this is Hamish, my boy, who is doing Doing a jump. So we've got it on lasso. We have it on a new selection. We are going to go hard edge and sample all layers and select the subject. So if I select the subject straight off, I just make a layer out of that by going copy and paste. And then I go down here and I drag that above the color mask I've put on. If I turn the color mask on, you can see the limitations of this. So let's zoom in and see how we've gone. And it's actually not too bad, but you see there's these little gaps just here and I can correct them. But let me just show you something. It's a bit rough around here. Obviously you have the tree, which you'd need to delete in a race. But as you get to his legs and the crinkle, you see you lose the texture. So instead of it being a, a line here and that being blue, it's actually transparent. Now the reason it's pink is obviously because I have a pink background, but if I change the color of this and I put it to a blue, you'll see the different colors come through. So maybe an orange is a good option when we're looking at the blue. So if we go all the way down to his feet, we also see some of the water drops that were in the original picture. They're not included. Let's go over to his other foot. You see it's a bit rough. That's where the water drops were, so it's excluded them. His heel and his foot, even that, is looking a bit messy. So it just completely missed that. So it assumed the color pixels of this were the same as that. It had difficulty distinguishing the contrast between the background and the subject. And then you have a bit of his shirt missing there. Uh, so you see it's not it's not brilliant. So let's actually take that off and take this off. We're back to our original image now and I'm going to trace it out. So watch this. I'm going to trace it out. We connect it up and watch it cut it out. I'm going to go copy paste. Then we're going to move that second layer which is our latest layer up. I'm gonna add the color mask and we're gonna see how well it's done. And it's not done well at all. You see these little gaps? Look at his fingers. His whole hand's missing here. See the outline of his hand? You see the outline of his hand, but it's made it transparent. And what I found is regardless of what option you use, and I'll run through a couple of those more options now, you have an issue. And that is that your subject, if it's close in color to what the background is, the technology has a great deal of difficulty pulling it out and distinguishing the difference. And so you have these really strange kind of transparencies where it's sort of there, but sort of not, which is sort of totally annoying. So I'm going to deselect all of that now and I want to show you just a couple more things before we go into how to do it. So if I take hard edge off it makes no difference. If I take sample all layers off it makes no difference. I'll just show you. You can see uh, the hard edges is even worse. It's just dreadful and awful. Then if I go back to here and I take that off, I take this off, we go back to our original photograph, and then let me just go select and mask, which gives me some details here where I can change the radius of the edge detection, I can change the smoothness of the global refinements, the feather, the contrast, the shift edging, and I've changed all of this and mucked about with all of this, and it doesn't actually make much of a difference whatsoever. So let's actually take the transparency down to zero, and we are going to go OK. And then I'm going to select him. Okay, copy, paste. Put that layer right above. This is with non-transparency. Take that off. Put that on. Let's zoom in. And we're getting better. But you see there is still transparency. See that is still yellow through that. And if I change that to a red, you can see the red through this. 
So we have an issue and here's how I solve the issue, the moment you've been waiting for. First of all, you go up to view and you turn on your rulers. Once your rulers are on, it gives you the opportunity to drag a line, a horizontal line down and a vertical line across. That gives you a crosshair to use. You then go and select your original image and we're working with layer four and the original image. We go to the original image and I'm gonna go S, which gives me the clone stamp tool. I'm gonna to go much smaller. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go hardness and I'm gonna take my hardness right up and then I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna press enter to get rid of that little box. And if I press option, I will get a crosshair. I will line the crosshair of the clone stamp tool up with the crosshair that I've created. I'm gonna select that by clicking and then I'm gonna go up to my layer. And as you see, it hasn't changed. And all I need to do is perfectly line this up there we go, bang on. And then if I zoom in, I use the square bracket to do that, and then I can paint this in. You see this? And I can paint it in. And if I go over the line, I can jump on the erase tool, I can give that a hard line, and I can just erase that. I can go back to clone by pressing S, and it picks up where it left off. And it is painstaking but it is how you find a solution to this and you just go throughout your whole image. And what I would suggest is you might have a pink background like I do, and once you've done it, then click over to say a green or something very different because when it's green, the colors look different and you can see the edge. So you see the edge, I might go erase and take this down and just tidy up the edges just like so. So I found this little hack to be really helpful for those finer details when you really want to nail an image and you're quite frustrated that it's not working. This is a great way to do it. And for example, if I go up to the ball and I go over to my clone tool and I can start to repaint the ball. And what you can do is you can take the green off and it gives you the original image and you can make sure you're tracing the original image and you trace that all up. And then I put the green color layer on and I see I've repaired his hand. And again, look at this, look at this finger up here. So you see it's transparent and I just polish that in. And if I want it to be really nice, I go over to eraser and I just bump that around. And you can put a mask on here and use the brush tool as I describe in my other video. I'm not gonna go into how you do that today and it's looking really really good and you see I have little cracks like this in his face and so I go the erase tool I go nice and small and then I go all the way down right into the cracks of it just like this and sometimes you see his eyes transparent so if I go to clone step tool I can color that back in I can renew the lines that it's missed in its color selection and I found this just really helpful on those particular images where you want them to be perfect, but the object selection tool has let you down, it's failed a little bit. Well, here's how you repair the damage. I hope this video has been helpful. Any questions, put them in the comments below. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to answer them all, and you may have a better way of finding a solution to this. Please share it down below. We would love to gain from your wisdom. And otherwise, have a great week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And I want to line my crosshair up with the crosshair of the selection. I want to line the crosshair up with the clone. I want to line my crosshair up. I want to, I want to line the crosshair.